real joking. No, I'm not. And I'll say the f word say. I'm an American. American. Wait a minute. So this is the couple. I'm guessing so, bro. D-Lo. Hey. Yeah. Clutch. I'm in the clutch. We in the clutch. The team up in clutch. You think that we suck. Your dreams are the luck. Your ship is just sunk. We turn off a way. Ooh, yeah. See that my face is up in disgust because people talking a mess, but there's nothing to discuss. I'm just being honest. I'm keeping it a bug. Uh-huh. We in the clutch. What's going on, Clutch Squat? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. We're all in the Clutch. Hey. hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another visitor today. You feel me? Angela tracks her husband's phone to save marriage. 90 day fiance, man. That means you don't want a marriage. Apparently. Yeah, this is this Second is to gonna be a probably an interesting one. Yeah. Appreciate all the love and support you guys you have been showing on the Thank channel. Thank you so man. much, man. It never goes unnoticed, bro. <laughs> all right, man. Let's do this thing. This should be a good one, bro. All right. All right. All right. All right. That was interracial couple here. Ooh, I could tell by the title alone. This is going to be wild, bro. I want to start off this video by apologizing for making this video. Believe me, I already know what you're thinking, and I'm, and I'm very sorry. I just could not resist. I had to do it. You want to know what I am? <laughs> wow. <laughs> you want to see what my life is? <laughs> no. Don't do it. You want to see what's going on here? <laughs> ah! Angela is a bit of an acquired taste, but once you get to know her and understand her a little an bit more, she's taste. lovely. Just a lovely, kind-hearted person who I have nothing else to say about. And you too. Damn. Sick of why, why, why did you act like that? Shut up! Are you done talking? No, I'm not. And I'll say what the want to say. I'm an American. American. Wait a minute. So this is the couple. I'm guessing so, bro. He did say he had to apologize to us, so we accept your apology, bro. <laughs> yeah, for real, because uh, damn. We're only a few seconds in, I can tell. This What's is, Are you done talking? This is then about to an be. African dude. This is about to be oh. all kinds of messed up, so. Let's no, see. I'm not. And I said a want to say. I'm an American. 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 She often say. plays the America card, which I don't even know is a thing. Apparently, yeah. we're just allowed to yell over everybody else. No. So that's pretty cool, I guess. On the other hand, Michael is pretty much the calmest dude in the history of the world. They were on this show for multiple seasons, but most of what I remember is just Angela screaming at him in you know, a little, little square on FaceTime on her phone. That's he always looks so look. sad, too. Like, she'll be screaming at him, and he'll ask her to calm down or something, and then she'll be like, oh my god, Michael, can't believe you just said that to me, Michael. You're an ugly son of a bitch, Michael. I'm a divorce. Your ass, Michael. You lost me ass every Who does that? Who does that? Why not block you? When I was healing, you what with me? Yeah, I just touched it. Can you believe he said that? That's rude. I'm his wife. Did she just lean over to ask the camera guys if they can believe that he said that? <laughs> I'm surprised they married. Like, what, what? What is it? Somebody trying to get citizenship? Or I don't know what's going on. This, <laughs> what is, this the, is a weird one. What the hell? This is weird, bro. To her, after all the shit that they watched her say to him, he said something mildly rude at an indoor volume. I'll give you that. <laughs> but uh, it was directly after you screamed at him for about an hour. So there's a lot to cover with these two. And That's even though they've lot. been on the show recently, it was like the third or fourth season that they were on. Because their storyline is massive. It's pretty much never ending. There's no way I can cover it all. And it's kind of old news anyway. So we're going to do a greatest hits, hits collection. <laughs> this is Mike and Angela, just the hits. <laughs> and uh, I spent a lot of time working on this. I think it's a kick-ass mix. How is this any different than usual? I don't know. Just, just go with it. And... Look at this, Michael. Come here. Oh, no. You like them? You gonna wear them for me? I'll put it on. What the hell? Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, she wanted to bring him something that is genuinely American. I, so she I brought him say, Donald but... Trump underwear. I'm an American. Look at this shit. Look what she did to this poor guy. Oh. Let me see what you look like. She gave him a okay, Trump that's it. license plate. He's like, plate. all right, that's it right there. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Put Make on this America Trump mask, Make America great again? I'm gonna Trump you up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the exact type of person I would imagine to have a Trump fetish. So anyway, moving on. Michael plans to live in the U.S. Makes eventually. Sense. And he knows uh, a few people that have a dual citizenship between uh, Nigeria and the United States. We were just saying that. Didn't I just? Mm -mm -mm. I figured. That's why you're dealing with this, Michael. Okay, I get it. <laughs> in the I'm U.S. eventually, and he knows a few people that have a dual citizenship between Nigeria and the United States. So he talked to them about what life is like in America, and he also wants Angela to talk to them about what life is like as an American in Nigeria. Basically, all hell breaks loose. So, Michael, where are we going? Uh, we're going to meet some people who have lived in the States. What would I care about people living in states? I live there myself. Because, Angela, it might help both of you to talk to people who have lived in both countries. So she's stubborn right, right off the bat and doesn't really want to do it at all, but just wait to see her reaction. Oh, you well, surrounded now. Some stranger 
to tell you about what's going to happen in my house. Michael's telling me he's able to ask this guy and his friends some questions about living in the U.S. What the hell does he mean? Um, I think, I think he just wants to know what it's like to live in the U.S., which is why he asked people that have lived there. You are one person with one perspective, Angela. Yeah, what's right. wrong with asking someone else? My question is, why would they live back here? Are they Americans or are they Nigerians? Uh, which uh, is it? They have a dual citizenship, baby. They've lived there and uh, come back. Well, you know what, Michael? I don't <laughs> trust that dual citizenship BS. You're either American or you're un-American. Right I didn't here. bring you all that sick Trump merch just to One get treated two. like this. If you still have that underwear on, which we both know you do, then you're an American. So enough <laughs> of this dual citizenship nonsense. Baby. Yeah. So some Change people from America make us hate uh, it. Time yeah. here in Nigeria and over there. It might, you know, talk to you about you staying much. And then he wants... They now bring up me living in Nigeria. So Michael tried to subtly bring up the idea of her living oh, in Nigeria. It was a good attempt. I applaud him good. for that, but I don't think it's going to go over well. Yeah. I'm an American woman. I can't give up hot water, electricity. I'm spoiled. I can't live like that. I wonder what country she's from. I don't think she's mentioned it yet. All right, so now they've arrived. <laughs> at the right. And uh, you definitely want to watch this. Oh, Lord. Hello. Hi. Oh, Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh. Nah, Michael. Michael, you Come have on, so bro. many. Come on, we say she shared the same first name, bro. Look, go back to them queens before and then. Come on, bro. Mike. Come on, bro. Come on, my guy. What are we doing? There's plenty of good options. She here. don't even look like she want to be there because she knows her. Oh. Roll the clip. I'm oh, ready. My this God. is about to be it. Oh, hello. I can sense. She ain't even look at them. Hello. So I thought saying it was hello? a guy we was talking to. Uh oh. Ma matter of fact, thank y'all for coming. I'm done. Thank you. Jeez, that. Just because you wasn't talking to a guy. Yeah, security. Michael, man, you she just said, talk uh, to them. They've been yeah. to the states. Why are you not talking to them? You thought she wasn't even trying to look at them, Hi. bro. Hi. Hello. 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 I thought it was a guy we was talking to. Matter of fact, thank y'all for coming. I'm done. Thank you. Jeez, that was fast. Oh, I love that shit. Just because there are three younger, attractive women, she yeah. gets up and storms off. All right, you know what? I'm done. I thought we were meeting a man here, or at least an old, ugly woman. It is a little bit sad, though, to be honest, because you can sense her insecurity yes. about it as soon as they yeah. walk in. Yeah, of and course. early on in their relationship, Michael did cheat on her, so she does have a little bit of a reason uh, to be... Well, then why will? What, is, what are we doing here, man? This nigga cheated on her, bro, to get, bro, I mean, I to s get. I ain't gonna say I see why. I'm not gonna suspicious. But she's just role. so rude and entitled all the time that it's very difficult to feel bad for her. I'll start to feel bad, and then she shoves a, a cake in Michael's face and calls him ugly. And I'm like, all right, well, this is not good. That's then he rat, walked Mike. out, too. Did she uh, just uh, break first? out? I'm done. All it took to set her off like this was to walk into a room and see three women that are younger than her just sitting there. Now, if she's still suspicious that he's cheating on her, she either needs to forgive him or just break up with him because yeah. it's not fair to tell him you forgive him and then just keep throwing it in his face. Right. Her solution is to just be super controlling and to make sure that he has no friends that are women at all. Take your ass to the farm. I want, I want, I want to go. I want to be away from you. There's not going to be a marriage. You know how many times she said that? She calls off the marriage like every other day. Tell a woman, tell me what the going on in America. Wait, what? They didn't even say anything at all. They, they, they had no time right. to say anything. Screw them for telling me how to live in America because I'm an American woman. I've lived in America. Guess where I live? America. <laughs> you want to know why? Because I'm, I'm American. I'm an American. I'm not a That's stupid fun. woman. And if I'm a stupid woman, you don't need to be marrying me because who wants to marry a stupid Wait, what? What the? What? Is she calling herself stupid or is she not? I, I don't understand. <laughs> Can't tell me nothing about my household or you. Now you listen, always take Atlanta. advice from now people Atlanta. besides your no, wife to be. I of so course maybe I take advice you from need you, know. to marry them, Michael. Yeah, Michael, why don't you just marry them if you love them? So honestly, why don't you just marry them? Why Seriously, not? this is terrible. Seriously, why do you it. want to be in this relationship? Yeah. I don't know what this guy's doing at all. I don't know why he likes her. There's very yeah. little talk about scamming or anything like that. So I guess <laughs> they're just deeply in love. All right, Bro, hang out with women. When did you think I, I was going to agree with that? 
I didn't hang out with women. But honestly, it, you did. That's it, so it, straight. Shout out. Was, it was that. That one is coming. The guy. So we had to wait for him, but you didn't. So I could be wrong, but wow. it sounds like he didn't even really know those three women and that he knew a guy who was a mutual friend of theirs and that they were all just going to have a conversation together. A conversation oh. about their future as a married couple. All right, so in this next clip, Angela gives pizza to That's relatives of Michael shit. who have never tried it before. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm gonna like it, no? She says she likes it. Oh. See, after all that, they like American hey, food. Oh, that's great. Forks, now we can forks. teach you guys how to pose for thumbnails for mukbang vids. Wow. She, don't she, say, what mama say? she wants them to have children. How old is Angela? I, I yeah. gotta look this up. Wow, this woman is only 39 years old. That's what's... That's cap. That no is cap. No way, bro. That is... That's... She look like she's in her 50s. That's cap, bro. Damn, she did not age well. She is older than 39, bro. She like, do you see her? She didn't age well, bro. That's what happens when you're in America. <laughs> Sometimes you don't age well. Wait a minute. 39? That's some 39-year-old. Oh. Look like they that's born tough. in 60, bro. Bro, that's just like nine years older than us. Yeah, she. we don't even look like we in our 30s. Dog. Wow. Oh, you muted it. <laughs> I don't want to hear that shit. That's Hell wild, no. bro. 39? What'd she say? What'd mama say? She wants them to have children. How old is Angela? I, I gotta look this up. Wow, this woman is only 39 years old. That's what cigarettes will do to you. Don't yep. don't smoke cigarettes. Maybe this By the way, I hope it's clear that I'm joking about then. that. Obviously, you should smoke cigarettes. Going yeah, back to the children thing, how could for, anyone uh, Trump, actually expect uh, her to do that? I don't I don't even well. understand how they were talking but about that then, as a realistic that possibility. Like she went to the doctor to find out how many eggs she had left, and she has one. So she tries to convince her daughter to give her one of her eggs, and her daughter is totally not on board at all. Meanwhile, she has like four grandkids. Kids that are back in the U.S. that are like, what? What about us? At her yeah. age and everything, along with the whole culture, was that a joke? Of kids that are to give her one to the doctor. I don't. I don't even understand how they were talking about that as a realistic possibility. She went to the doctor to find out how many eggs she had left, and she has one. So she Damn. tries to convince her daughter to give her one of her eggs, and her daughter is totally not on board at all. Meanwhile, she has like four grandkids that are back in the U.S. that are like, what? What about us? Grandkids? At her age and everything, along with the whole cultural situation and the fact that they have to beg for an egg, should be a sign that this is not going to work. So. So anyway, yeah. they do end up getting married, and then Angela travels back to the U.S., and uh, that's pretty much how it's been ever since, as far as I'm aware. After this point, they never really seem to talk about his progress in actually coming to the United States. They're married, but all they do is FaceTime each other, and Angela just kind of yells at Michael and accuses what? him of cheating, and Michael just kind of sits there and doesn't really say anything. And then Angela threatens to divorce him, and then they just kind of repeat that cycle. And eventually, Angela decides to go to a divorce attorney. But if you get the divorce now, what would happen is we would have to inform USCIS that the circumstances had changed. And we can, or if we decide be. to get back together, we can do it again? You'd have to get married again. Oh, God. That's crazy. It almost seems like she wants to get a divorce just to well, piss him off and that she'll just go marry him yeah, again right away. You see that, Michael? I divorced you once. Now you better start taking this marriage thing more seriously this That's time. So because pointless. three strikes, you're out. Three divorces, it's done. <laughs> so other than a divorce, what have you thought of as potential solutions? I've tried tracking his phone. Bingo, that'll do it. That'll save a marriage right there. A no. good old phone tracker. Why didn't Why didn't you just say that? Oh, you know what else? You could even use one of those tracker things that they put on Gus I'm Fring's car in Breaking Bad. Yeah. You know? If you know where he is at all times and you don't let him talk to anybody else yeah, and you treat him like shit, then, then that's a perfect Surprise. marriage in my book. Okay, but tracking his phone is not going to help you guys emotionally connect. No, but I'll know when I got proof that he's lying to me because I know when he's lying to me, but I've showed him proof for other things. It don't mean a damn thing. All right, Angela, you've just unloaded many cans of worms all over. There's worms everywhere, Angela. Pick up the damn worms. <laughs> Talking about lying and cheating and jealousy and suspicion and bleh. It sounds awful. Just awful. Like I said in the last video, once you start pulling some Home Alone type shit or some spy thriller type shit, the relationship is probably coming to an end. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. but when you talk to him about the relationship and about these issues, does he seem as invested in it as you are? That's what I don't know. 
Maybe you don't know because you've never let the guy speak before. <laughs> right. This clip, but there was one part where she went to some type of cell phone store and tried to get a tracker on Michael's phone, which they're not allowed to do. Yeah. I forget why, but she decided to FaceTime him while she was there, maybe even to ask him if she could put a tracker on his phone. I'm not entirely sure. As soon as he answered, she just started flipping out. Like it, she wasted no time at all. He didn't even get a single word in. And then as she's flipping out, she stops and points the phone at the guy at the cell phone store and says, "You see what I have to deal with? You see this shit?" And the guy literally said, "Um, I didn't. I didn't even hear." him say a single word I will oh. what? we are talking about your uh, if you're gonna change you're i'm not gonna change so I'm why are you saying that so at this part, Michael's mother talks to Angela about her expected duties as his wife, which she obviously hates, no surprise. So oh. Michael's mother explains that in Nigerian culture, the wife is submissive to the husband. Mm -hmm. And there's definitely nothing wrong with disagreeing with that idea, but Angela does not go about explaining her opinion politely at all. Oh. And I told him, being a Nigerian man, your wife has to be submissive. I like you. That's fine. Like but him. with this kind of attitude, oh, it's different I don't know Nigeria, about your bro. Marriage. So obviously Michael's mother knows that they plan to move to America at some point. So I think she would just be happy enough if Angela were just respectful to Michael. So Angela needs to prove that she does have the right attitude. And in order to do that, she uh, decides to storm off again. Uh oh. So we're done. Do you need to think whether you're going to do what they want you to do or what me and you've been doing for three years? I'm done talking. Oh, no. It's been fun. Yeah, Michael, are you going to do what they want Boy. you to do or what we've been doing for you three years, which is just miles. me yelling no. at you? I like how Angela talks about how she wants it to be 50-50, but clearly she wants 50 it to be more there. like 100-0. You guys yeah. have to work together, <laughs> not against each other. All right, so before the end of this video, I just want to flash all the way back to the first time that they met when she flew to Nigeria. Angela is different from what I was expecting. She's kind of loud. <laughs> I will try and give her a sign just to bring a voice down a little if she's like too dramatic. That is just so adorable. He has yeah. no idea what's coming. Anyway, I think no I'm going to end it here. Bro. So thank you so much for watching. He if for no, some sick reason you so want to see these two again, just let me know in the comments. And, and just happy. And now it's, can you please calm down? No? Okay. <laughs> can you please be quiet? Okay. I don't have the capacity. <laughs> that is, oh my God, bro. Oh, Jesus. I don't understand. I can't get it for life. Mm -hmm. I, I still, even hadn't watched this video, I still don't understand why he's with her. Um, you already cheated on her. Um, Y'all don't even live in the same country. Yeah, not even, yeah, man. She's just... arguing every day over FaceTime. Cut your losses, bro. And you had three decent looking women sitting there that you probably didn't know or not whatever that lives in Nigeria that's from the states that they kind of get a best of both world type thing with the dual citizenship and you sitting there dealing with Angela it's a lot of Angelas out there ladies nah, they are a lot of miracles mm -hmm. you feel me big facts and that's how we look to the rest of the world just want y'all to understand that mm -hmm. being in America it doesn't give you entitlement over anyone. We're all mm -hmm. human beings. It doesn't make you better than a damn person. Facts. But there's too many people that think just like her. I'm mm -hmm. from America, so I'm I'm the shit. I'm mm -hmm. I'm me. I got food, hot water, cold. Like, <laughs> fuck what century are we in? But yep. that's crazy, bro. So let us know what y'all think. I don't know what the fuck else to say. Let us know what y'all think in the comments down below. Yeah, that one was um, uh, a weird one. <laughs> if y'all if y'all have any updates on them, let us know. Yeah. Let us know if we need to check out anything else from them, man. Uh, this was crazy. But mm -hmm. appreciate y'all for supporting us as usual. Make sure you keep on running with the like. Subscribe before you get up out of here. Road to a milli. And we catch y'all next time. Peace out. Already. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.